Hello, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, maybe good afternoon. Okay, so let's let's start our discussion. I think uh, uh, where we are left. I just a minute. I'll just uh, share my screen. Uh, yes, Purnendo, any? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Actually, I, w I was not present in the last session. OK. But I watched the lecture. And I have two particular doubts hmm. from this mock question that you explained. Hmm. Basically, first one is the eighth one, the gradient descent one. Hmm. And uh, the second one is the least square approximation that you calculated. So hmm. if you have time after the session, can you please explain it again? Man? Just a brief summary of what you did and why it works. Sure, sure. Sure, we'll do that. Yeah. OK, sir. Thank you. Uh, yes. Bhuvan? Uh, uh, sir, could you please share the uh, last session link, YouTube link, uh, I mean, stream link uh, in okay. the chat box? OK. Uh, is it not present there? Sir, it's present. Uh, Someone shared it. I can't find in the link. I mean, uh, so yeah, somebody has shared. Just check. check. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Check. yeah. Open. Okay. Just check this and uh, let me know if it is uh, the same link. Okay. Okay. So I think we'll will uh, uh, move. Like I think we have completed ninth question, nine or ten questions, right? I guess. Uh, we have just uh, tenth one also we have discussed, right? Uh, I yes, I sir. think I didn't uh, call it. Uh, completely because the calculations is not are much so okay so let's let's start with the 11 question and I think, so okay we have six more questions left so we can have uh, some more time i guess after this to discuss any other questions uh, hello sir yes <laughs> sir i understand the calculation of question number 10 but i didn't understand the what is the question i mean the calculation is easy to understand, but the concept behind the question is not, uh, I'm not able to understand what it is saying to us to do. Okay, so uh, what's this question actually? Uh, so uh, using the least square approximation, find the length of the projection vector P uh, of B onto the column space of A. So actually projection vector P uh, and of B. So uh, generally what happens is, so A is what? Uh, A is a matrix, right? So it is in... So if you see the column space of A, I wanted to, uh, so, uh, okay. So uh, when you say that uh, B is in column space of A, so if you pictorially represent it, you understand it. When you say that uh, uh, B is in column space of A, if it is a linear combination of? Uh, the basis of uh, space. You know the columns, right? Yeah. Or, or maybe both the columns, right? So if it is in that yeah. space, uh, then I'll say that uh, B is a, a solution for, uh, or I can say it's, it's uh, AX equals to B is a consistent system, right? But let's say if B is not in the column space of A, that means, so let's say uh, if you see the pictorial representation of it, suppose this is uh, some column space of A, okay? Column space of A means generally what? It's like the span uh, created by this uh, two vectors, right? So uh, suppose. Yes. So let's say we have two vectors here. Uh, uh, this is uh, some two dimension space. I, I, OK, this is just pictorial representation. So suppose this is my, uh, this, these are two, two vectors, OK? So what is the color space of these two vectors? So I, I, I think I'll, I'll say that uh, maybe everything uh, here, like it's not like this, but let's say if it, this is the column space of A. So when, uh, when I say B is in column space of A, when B is uh, the linear combination of A, right? So, OK, this is not yes. a, a good representation, but I'll just. Yeah, yeah but I, I yeah, understand that. You understand, right? So, yeah, yeah. No so uh, suppose if this is the case, suppose this is some column space of A, and if uh, B is, if it is in this column space, then uh, we can say that it's a solution. So solution to that linear system of equations uh, lies here, right? But if it is outside of it, 
okay so b is not in the column space of a then what should we do uh, to get a solution of it right so uh, that means you your system of linear equations uh, is not having any solution so it's the, inconsistent right right it is inconsistent so there is one way to get uh, the pseudo solution so pseudo solution means what uh, we'll project this vector b onto the column space of a okay so we are we are what we are doing we are projecting b onto the column space of a then this projection right this projection is in that space okay now we can say that ax hat is equals to p if i try to solve this right if i try to solve this i'll get this solution uh, which is x hat which is pseudo solution generally what you try to solve is ax equals to b right so when b is in column space of a then you'll get the solution x right but when it is not in the column space of a what you have to do is we'll project that vector b onto the column space of a and you try to find the solution for that and it is not the exact solution right it's a approximate solution correct because it cannot be the exact solution it yeah, has yeah. to be approximate solution so that is uh, the the meaning of it okay yes now, i got it now now this yeah. question is uh, so you you understand then then what we are, we are doing here is we are trying to project b onto a so now this uh, we have this uh, 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 calculations available right so it also stems for i think i told you guys that i maybe sometime after i'll show you how to do that like how we get to that uh, particular solution that a transpose a but i i think it's not the time now that uh, i should but it's just like uh, if you understand vector spaces you just uh, yeah, yeah, i understand the whole concept now i mean okay right yeah fine I understand that. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. So let's uh, shall we move towards uh, question number eleven? Yes, sir. Please. Yeah. So uh, which of the following matrices have eigenvectors as two, one, two, one minus two, zero, one, zero minus one? Okay. Uh, okay. First of all, we'll try to solve this. Okay. Uh, how you solve this question particular problem? Uh, we find the eigenvalues of each and every matrix present in the options, and then we'll try to fetch the vector right? I mean, it's the brute force way, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is correct. Uh, any other way uh, are we having here? Sir, uh, the, we discussed in uh, this TA session, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, this was like uh, these uh, eigenvectors, they are orthogonal. So, one eigenvector. And this so like the first eigenvector and the uh, other two eigenvectors, they mm -hmm. are in se separate eigenspaces. They are in so they are orthogonal. So the two one two is orthogonal to one minus two zero and uh, two one two is also orthogonal to one zero and minus one. Mm -hmm. But the other two are not orthogonal by the to each other. So in this uh, and because this uh, the entire thing is actually covering R three, and mm -hmm. they are also of three. Uh, we have like three eigenvectors and that whole space is being covered so it was like the uh, whatever the source matrix would be it mm -hmm. has to be symmetric and then in the options we see that there are only two symmetric uh, matrices mm -hmm. option A and B and option B is actually just a multiple scalar multiple of option A so only option so both these two options will be correct okay so okay so uh, say so what is the property of symmetric matrices uh, line will be full uh, i guess uh, uh, full upper uppercase and lower case uh, no that is the symmetric matrix but uh, uh, the, the eigenvectors are linearly independent sir yeah right so the, the eigenvectors of the symmetric matrices are linearly independent linearly independent right so mm -hmm. you uh, linearly independence means what like how to check that linear independence AX they, they should not be uh, the linear combination of each other right first one one maybe maybe you can say that so uh, not equals to zero determinant of uh, these three eigenvectors is not equal to zero okay rank is three rank is three okay so full rank matrix huh? okay think about it once more like what uh, uh, what we should do here 
so okay so the uh, the concept what he was talking about is uh, suppose if a matrix a is symmetric matrix then uh, its eigen vectors are linearly independent right independent to each other fine right? so here if you see this uh, three uh, and a is orthogonal diagonalizable diagonal diagonal diagonalize but uh, diagonalization i think we uh, have you studied diagonalization uh, yes. in v4 yes 4.5 yes sir okay so if you have studied okay then uh, okay diagonalization but uh, here uh, we don't need that concept uh, i guess uh, okay diagonalization concept is not needed here but uh, if they have uh then you see if if you need the diagonalization concept then you you'll find uh, if a is having n independent uh, uh rows then its uh, eigen values are different right that we know that but then that means a is diagonalizable but that is the concept uh, which we don't need here currently right but we can say that uh, if the sim i am I, i just wanted to talk about symmetric matrices so here uh, which two matrices are symmetric uh, option a is symmetric right 3 2 4 2 0 2 4 3 right because uh, e, uh, that element aij uh, here okay so there you can say that 3 Can you tell me the values two zero two and four two three two zero two and four eight two three? Two zero two and four two three. So uh, the the elements here uh, the, are opposite to the diagonal. They are equal. same, right? They are same or equal. Okay. So that's why uh, this matrix is symmetric. So I wanted to see that. Uh, okay, there is one more. Th there is one option that we can check. Uh, uh whether these are the eigen vectors of this matrix is the normal option which we uh, do is what we should find the eigen values of this matrix right and then find the eigen vectors okay but then it will take a lot of time so we have the eigen vectors here already which are these eigen vectors 2 1 2 1 2 0 3 3 3 And zero one zero minus one. Okay. By looking at it, uh, you can actually tell that uh, whether these are independent or not. So independence means what? How how to find uh, the how to find that these two vectors are independent? Dot product is zero. zero. Yeah, dot product should be zero. Yes. Dot product should be zero, right? So uh, suppose so what is uh, let's say this is u, uh, this is v, and this is w. So u dot v should be equals to zero. Then you can say that uh, uh, these yeah. two are independent. Or in other words, I can say that u transpose v should be equals to zero, right? Sir, yes, we get that these are orthogonal to each other. Orthogonal to each other, right? Huh. Right. So here it is two one two. And one minus two, zero. So uh, the it should come as zero. So you can see uh, check. So this is zero, right? Yes. Yes. So, similarly, if I wanted to say uh, check v dot w equals to zero. So this is one minus two zero. Right. Not zero. Uh, then uh, what is it? V w right? One zero, one zero minus one. So, what's happening here? It's one. One. It's one. That means uh, V and W are uh, not orthogonal to each other, right? Not orthogonal to each other. Okay. Uh, what about V and U and W? U and W will be zero. U W zero. Two yes. minus two zero. Right. It's zero. So uh, here we can check that. Uh, U W zero 
v w is not equal to zero, and u and here zero, right? This three combination we can check, or any other combination we will check. Hmm? Okay, so Sir, from to see if they are uh, okay. mm -hmm. to check if uh, the U, V, or W is uh, the eigenvectors of which matrix, we can probably multiply. I mean, A dot U, we can uh, check A multiplied by U and mm -hmm. see if we get a uh, scalar multiple of U as the answer by trial and error. When that a equal to lambda x, then we can check whether lambda is there or not. I mean, what she's trying to say. A is equal to lambda x. Huh? We can, yeah, we can yeah. multiply a with v and check if we are getting a scalar multiple of the vector v. Ah, huh, that is also uh, uh, correct only, right? If it is there, then uh, you can say that uh, that will be a correct eigen vector for uh, the matrix right. will be the answer. Right, but I uh, no, that is correct. Uh, but then again, the, it will involve a lot of calculations, right? But I'm just trying to be sure that uh, whether what he said, uh, okay, somebody said, right? Like, but I think see, this vector is not orthogonal to each other, right? That means V and W are not orthogonal to each other. And just now give me a uh, stick. Yeah, it's like the second and third are not orthogonal, hmm. but they must be belonging to the same eigenspace. Right? So, hmm. but the first one does not belong to the eigenspace of the second and third one. So, there are two separate eigenspaces which are orthogonal to each other. Right? And we have three vectors. No, still I I I'm, I don't understand this one. Uh, okay. Is there any property? I just let's look into this the symmetric matrices properties, right? See, this is this is a way I can check that a x equals to lambda x is there or no, right? But apart from that, any uh, properties there? Yeah, I like we when we were discussing that the statement was that a real n by n square matrix a is symmetric if and only if all of its eigenspaces are, are orthogonal hmm. and the sum of these eigenspaces is the whole rn right so huh. you talk right. in that statement was eigenspaces not eigenvectors per se so maybe that was there maybe we can check this or something okay. Okay. Uh, what is the statement you said, Ritik? Yeah, in the TA session, we discussed this statement, right? A real n by n square matrix A is symmetric if and only if all of its eigenspaces are orthogonal. And uh, I'll paste it also. The sum of these eigenspaces is the whole RN. Okay, okay. The reverse was that if eigenvectors are orthogonal and together span Rn, then they have an eigenbasis. Uh, sorry, and if they have an eigenbasis, then the matrix they come from is a symmetric matrix. Sir, can a non-symmetric matrix have a uh, real eigenvectors? Non-symmetric matrix have a, a real eigenvectors, which, which is 
real value ha ah, it can have right there is no uh, issue in that correct you okay. you can have see but all real uh, real symmetric matrix have definitely like it's kind of like it is definitely having real cement, uh, real uh, uh, eigen value right? okay so this is the case right so in that case if you see the first uh, but i am not sure about so so uh, who rithvik see you said a real n cross n square matrix a is symmetric if and if if and only if all of its eigen eigen spaces are orthogonal right okay and the sum of these eigen spaces is the whole array what is eigen spaces here eigen vectors with span of eigen vectors as someone said yeah so eigen spaces are the span of eigen vectors so it does not make sense the sum of this eigen spaces is whole array uh so this is somewhat confusing i don't know like where uh, okay, because see, this statement and if you okay if you say that these eigen spaces you are talking about is eigen vectors then here i am not able to see uh, that all these three eigen vectors are uh, orthogonal to each other right sir there are two eigen spaces one which is the formed by the first eigen vector Mm. then the second eigen space which is formed by the other two eigen vectors these two spaces are orthogonal to each other so how to check that let's say if you Sir, if you say when uh, we when we like multiply we are having three pairs right uh, when we okay. have like uh, okay two, two, two vectors which are eigen vectors when we are multiplying we are getting one but with the other two pairs basically two and two multiple multiplied by any other other two we are getting zero so 2 and 2 is one eigen space and the two other and thing 2 2 and 2 is one eigen space you're saying yeah, yes whatever is span is a vector two, right to be yeah that is a vector but if you span that that then you have one eigen space so i'm just trying to think aloud mm. because this is one eigen space and the other two belong to another eigen space because if they were different eigen spaces they would have been orthogonal right otherwise because if we if we have a like no, a plane no if if what you are saying eigen... let's say 2 1 2 is one so okay if i am trying to understand you are mm. saying if u is 2 1 2 is means u let's say here yes u is if you... uh, u is one eigen space suppose uh, but mm. I, i don't feel it is space but okay if let's say it is a space then mm. v and w what what is it v and w belong to another space and how how it will belong like it's a span of v and w you are saying Huh? Yes. Okay. Suppose span of V and W is another eigen space. Then how can you say that these two are orthogonal to each other? Sir, the like U is orthogonal to V, and U is also orthogonal to W. Oh. Okay. In that sense, it is, sounds like that the third vector is intersecting the both spaces, isn't it? But I, I see this is not a space actually. See one vector U, uh, it cannot. Spanish. Uh, actually, actually, it was mentioned that the eigen value and the eigen vector together forms an eigen space. Each eigen value, ha, right? Okay. Each so, value vector pair forms an eigen space. So, if uh, I think that's what he was trying okay. to talk about. Okay. Okay. Maybe maybe I I don't know. So let's see. But okay. But currently I've. Uh, and and then how to solve this problem then let's say your is uh, your thing is correct then no, so how then to solve we this? have to look for matrices which are symmetric okay uh, in, now this is the eliminating uh, options right if we have to uh, see if matrices which are symmetric anything which is not symmetric will not be our answer after okay. that if we have all matrix, matrix, matrix we get only orthogonal eigen vectors that is the Yes. Right. But but how to ensure? And suppose these four options, you can say if let's say you all four options are symmetric matrices. Uh, then we then have to go back to square one. I have to check the normal way. Okay. Okay. Fine. We cannot do anything. Okay. So so basically for this problem, okay, I will just check this one. Okay, I I'm not sure about this. Uh, but yeah, the, the matrix when it uh, acts on the on uh, any vector. 
whether you get a uh, value whether it is scaled by the uh, uh -huh. that is what we have to check here in this case okay fine sir can't so, we do it in the normal way uh, we will we'll try to solve this uh, the way it's because it's in the normal way as well because uh -huh. we, yeah, we yeah. no i i I just wanted to understand uh, that sort, but uh, otherwise, uh, nothing like okay, okay, fine. So the other way is what uh, we'll do this way, right? So we have to check that uh, whether this matrix A is having uh, these eigenvectors or not, right? Correct. So uh, so how to check this? First of all, will you can have so so again we have to go through all the uh, you know all. Uh, the matrices and you have to check right so i'm i'm just try i'll try to do for first one and then uh, you guys can check for subsequent matrices fine so it is three to four three to four two zero two and four to three right two zero two and four two three so uh, there is one way that we you can find uh, the eigen values and eigen vectors of this matrix and check whether these uh, are same or uh, what other way is there you have the eigenvector already given right which is yeah. let's say yeah. 2 1 2 here so 2 1 2 then you find this whether it is a scalar multiple of 2 1 2 yeah right. right so this is the equation we are able to see so i'll just uh, use the multiplication here so uh, so what is it so it's 3 cross 3 matrix this is 3 cross uh, one so the final answer will be what output will be three cross one right okay yes. so it will be a vector and so three to six six plus two uh six plus two eight and eight sixteen right sixteen uh then two four uh then eight eight plus four 12, 12 plus 6, 18, right? 18 because Second 6. Second one is 18, right? Uh, 8, right? Third one is also 6, 16. Yes, sir. Third, third one, one is 16. 8. 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 6. Ah, 2 to the 4. Okay. The third one. Third one, sir. Second one is 8, right? And third yeah. is? Second uh, one is 8, 2, 8, 8 plus 2. Oh, yeah. 16, 8, 16. Okay, 16. Okay. So it is two and two. So you can say that uh, lambda will be what here? Yeah? Two times lambda is eight. Lambda is eight. Eight, eight times eight. So okay. So yes, this is there. Uh, then I'll check for. So how we got this eight? You can check right because this is equal equality right? This so lambda. Yeah. So if you uh, how how these two sides will be equal? When I just uh, uh, take eight common right? Common. Okay. Correct. So, just eight, comparison. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, then three to four, two zero two, four two three, and what's the vector here? One minus two zero, one minus two zero, which is equals to lambda. Right. So here I'll get three. And minus four as minus one, two, four, minus four, zero, right? So lambda times one, so zero. So what is lambda here? Lambda equals to one. minus one. Minus one, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And here it was lambda equals to eight. And the final one is three. Two four two zero two four two three. Okay. One zero minus one. Minus one zero minus one. Okay.
so lambda equals to minus one here. So you can see that there are uh, two uh, repeated eigenvalues, right? Correct. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. So here lambda equals to eight, and but this matrix is uh, but uh, okay. And I uh, think so there, there is. Now we have verified that those two other vectors are belonging to the same eigenspace. Yeah, so uh, that means they are dependent, right? The two uh, vectors are independent, right? So, okay. So when we have the symmetric matrix with the real, uh, symmetric matrix uh, with same eigenvalues, then you have, uh, what is it? Uh, independent, all three independent eigenvectors, right? And when you don't have, then you can say that they can be or they cannot be, correct? But it's sir, sir taught us yes. uh, if la distinct uh, eigenvalue to their uh, eigenvectors are linearly are independent. Linearly independent, right. And here and we don't. Two, uh, eigenvalues are same. Uh, so they are the same thing. Yes, sir. So no, they are not linearly independent. See, when you have uh, for, uh, for any uh, square matrix, right? For any square matrix or any symmetric matrix, so if you have uh, distinct eigenvalues, then you have uh, uh, all all uh, uh, in eigenvectors independent, correct? If you do not have the distinct eigenvalues, then they are not linearly independent. They are not linearly independent, correct? Right? So yes. these are the properties. See, that's what. Uh, if you remember all the properties, there are I think eight to ten properties are there. If you remember it, it's fine. If you don't, then uh, or you can remember it. It's not a, a problem. But if you have to uh, remember it properly, like word because may or may not have these also things will be there, right? So when you see the diagonalization, there you will find this uh, sentence where you can say that. Okay, I'll just write uh, read it down for you. So there is one sentence. Uh, if A is sure to have n independent uh, eigenvectors, uh, and it will be diagonalizable if all the uh, eigenvalues are different. Okay, mm -hmm. and if the repeated eigenvalues are there, then uh, it may have or may not have n independent eigenvectors. <laughs> so these all things are there. If you remember, it's fine. Right? Otherwise, you you have see uh, again. You can go to the basic and you can solve it. It's not a problem that it will take a little bit of more time, but you can solve it. Right? Fine. So uh, you understand, right? How to solve? Uh, so I solved it for this uh, first one. So you can. Sure, but uh, but one question that I have: we have got all the eigenvalues, uh, and we saw that it's not linearly independent. Then correct. how the metric matrix are the answers? How? No, I'm not saying right. I'm not saying that symmetric matrix is the answer. Okay. Some you only said right. I, I don't know. I think Ritwik was saying right. Mm -hmm. But then how this matrix is the answer? The because first? yeah, you can see that right. You are able to see that uh, that uh, uh, the, these eigenvectors are belonging to this matrix A. Correct. Uh, okay. So the question is what? Which of the following matrices have eigenvectors? This. I'm hmm. able to establish that okay, this uh, eigenvectors belongs to this matrix A. How? Because it for it 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 is satisfying this property, right? A is equal yes. to lambda x. So if yes. it is there, then and by using that only, I I was able to so, show you that, right? Okay, we'll solve the other uh, option also. Then you can understand this. So let's say this is the uh, is this a symmetric matrix again? Yeah, okay, we'll see some other matrix. Two, one, four. Uh, uh, okay, just tell me the numbers. Two, one, four. Is it? Yeah, four, zero, four. Four, zero, four. And eight, four, six. Right? This eight, four, six. Eight. Okay, if this is a matrix, and uh, which are the eigenvectors given? Two, one, two. Two one two one minus two zero 
zero and zero minus one. One zero minus one. Okay. So I'll check that whether this is uh, this will satisfy this equation or not, right? So two four eight one zero four 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 six uh, times this two one two. It should have. You will get some some lambda, right? Which will satisfy this uh, equation, right? Okay. Okay. Now, two to the four, thirteen, eight, five and eight, thirteen, right? Eight and eight, sixteen. Sixteen plus four, twenty. Twenty plus twelve, thirty-two. Thirty-two. Lambda times. Two one two. Okay, so are we uh, able to get anything, any lambda such that it will satisfy this? No, not a real value. value. Not a real value, right? Correct. Okay. Or, or Sir, it would be fourteen, no? Huh? It's not thirteen. It's fourteen. I think. Uh, it's two to the four plus one. Five, five and then five plus eight. Correct, thirteen. Thirteen. Sorry, sorry, yeah, it's fourteen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, fine. So, uh, we are not able to satisfy this, right? Here. Yes, sir. No, we are not able to. We could satisfy it if the first value would be thirty-two. Or a or any multiple of sixteen, right? Yeah. Sixteen or maybe eight, or if you break down it to four or maybe two also, right? Uh -huh. Correct. So it's it's not there. Right? Mm -hmm. So that means, and here you can see that we were able to extract lambda. Right? Yeah. So if it is there, if it satisfies that equation, that means it belongs to that uh, matrix, right? The eigen and we have to check lambda. for each eigen vector, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Okay, Silver. So uh, one thing we can still do, right? Like because we have established that option A using the conventional method mm -hmm. is uh, having these three eigen uh, vectors as so these three eigen vectors belong to this first uh, matrix hmm. so any scalar multiple of this matrix will hmm. still have these eigen vectors as, as well right yes any scalar multiple of this matrix of 3 to 4 2 0 2 and 4 yes. to 3 yes yes definitely yes and that's the so option, option b we do not really? even have you, you need not to uh, again do it the calculation mm -hmm. option b yes right so we check only if uh, eigen vectors first eigen vector is not satisfied then other is not satisfying yeah if it is not first is not yeah. able to then you, you need not to go do uh, like do all the calculations again right mm -hmm. if first is satisfied then you have to check for second if second is also satisfied then you have to check for third right because all three should be belonging to uh, that matrix right it shouldn't be like one is belonging to that and other two are not or Two are belonging to that matrix, and one is not. It's not like that, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Thank you. Okay. So, okay. So, shall we move to question number twelve? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, what is the question number twelve? Uh, like the matrix A, which is uh, D cross D, which is uh, will be diagonalizable. Then, which of the following statements is true? Uh, so a must be a symmetric matrix is uh, is the statement correct no right a can be any matrix correct it need not be a symmetric matrix correct it uh, the option a is a must be so that means if you have a symmetric matrix only then uh, then only it's going to be diagonalizable that statement is not correct Okay. The option B is we can find a basis. Uh, we can find a basis of eigenvectors for R D. What does that mean? Or how to find a basis for uh, of eigenvectors for R D? It will have. Uh, I mean, three. I mean, n number d d eigenvectors, right? Yeah, because uh, it will span the whole. Correct. It will span uh, uh, whole, whole like, R D, right? Yeah. Okay. What about option C? Uh, we can find an orthonormal basis of eigenvectors of R D. So, if you are able to find get the eigenvectors, 
uh, are we able to find the orthonormal basis for eigenvectors? I don't know. Like, okay, see this statements. So these are theory. I mean, so I didn't look at these things. What happened? This is me or me. We are not getting means what we are doing here. Okay, fine. So, uh, using example, the very... third one is true if it is a real symmetric matrix. Symmetric, yeah. All right, but then we use, uh, and if it is not symmetric, then what should we do actually? You know, right? Do you know that Gram Schwinn method? No. No, sir. No, sir. Study in facts too only, <laughs> but not, okay. not, not now. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, that's okay. So you just have studied about uh, the diagonalization of the uh, matrix, right? Okay. Uh, do you know how how we are diagonalizing any uh, matrix A? All of you know? Yes, sir. Okay, maybe maybe I'll just uh, give a little bit theory here then. Not everybody is. Sure about it, I guess. Okay. So S, S, so S, S, S inverse A S so, lambda. Yeah. Egan vector sky inverse A into Egan vector is equal to Egan values. One minute, one minute. I'll, I'll write it down, okay? Diagonalization. Okay. So diagonalization actually, uh, it will be in this uh, kind of this format, okay, where A is a matrix, and uh, we are saying that uh, there are you no know, uh, n independent eigenvectors, okay, okay. So you should have n independent eigenvectors in the sense uh, if A is n cross n matrix and it is having n independent uh, eigenvectors. Uh, so what does that mean? It's a full rank matrix, right? Yes. Mm, yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Then uh, I'm saying that uh, then what will be S here? If A is N cross N matrix with N independent uh, having uh, N independent eigenvectors, yeah. vectors, then S will be the matrix of what? Eigenvectors. I Okay, so uh, yeah, let's say these these are the eigenvectors x1, x2, xn. Then S will be the matrix of x1, x2, xn. Right. So each each of the eigenvector is arranged into uh, uh, like column wise, and then you arrange into a matrix, right? Okay. Put put that into the columns of S. Then I will say that A S. So I'll, I'll just try to find a uh, the the multiplication of a and s. What will be the multiplication of a and s then? So a is a kind of operator here. Okay, it's a matrix operator. So a into s is what this right? Mm -hmm. So uh, are you able to visualize this? What is x one actually? Yes. X one is a vector, right? Vector. It's yes, sir. Vector of uh, eigen eigen and vector of vector. a, right? Yeah. And all these are kind of uh, we are going to write in this way. So, how do you do this? Multi uh, so generally, uh, what what is what is it uh, uh, when we say eigenvectors? We when we find out eigenvectors, what is our equation we follow? We follow this one, right? A into a x lambda x. A x equals to lambda x, where x is what the eigenvector and lambda is the eigenvalue, right? Eigenvalue, yeah. So when I do this matrix multiplication here, so what will be the matrix multiplication? Can I write uh, this as like this? A x one, uh, or I will say uh, maybe. Uh, okay, how to say? Okay, then suppose I'll try to write it down like somewhere. Let's say this is the matrix uh, two three. Um, okay. Do you have any matrix like two by two matrix with the uh, independent eigenvectors? Mm. Mm. One, yes, four, two, three, sir. One, four, four, where? Uh, right side. One, four, two, three. Example. Right. So one, four, two, three. Right. Okay. Suppose I'm saying that this is uh, the eigen uh, on. Uh, can you tell me any vector here? 
Okay. Okay. It is one one. Uh, okay. Okay. Tell me the both both the. Uh, minus two and one. Minus two one. So one one correct. That is one vector. Okay. One one and minus, minus two, two one. Okay. So suppose this is matrix A, and this is uh, the matrix of eigenvectors here. So if I do the multiplication, uh, what it will be? Just look into it. Okay. So what what is the first? So this is two cross two. This is two cross two. So the final output will also be a two cross two matrix. Uh, can you tell me what is what should be the value here? Five. Five. Right. Uh, here it's here here. Uh, Down. It's five. It's five only, sir. Five here. Here it is two. No. Two. No. Two. Right. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Two. No. No. One minute. One minute. Yes. Uh, minus eight plus three. Minus five. I guess. No. No. Sir. Two. 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 Correct. Yeah. Uh, minus four plus three, which is one. Nine. Right? Minus one. Minus one. Ah, uh, minus one. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. What this five five uh, uh, represent, or how how we uh, come up with this? So if I just do this calculation once more, uh, what is this five five? And how this five five one four two three? And if I do one one, uh, what I'll get? Um, five five. Five okay, five. That is eigen one. Uh, ah no no it's okay no do not worry about eigen value i'm just showing you the uh, matrix multiplication what is this Correct. five five this is a Sir, how you got into... that one one is that a transpose no no this is this is a uh, value right okay you are this separating is the first vector separating yeah i'm just trying to show that this is a let's say and this is x one hmm. and uh, the, the the output column will be what a x one right a x one yeah. I just wanted to show that one. Okay, so now just look into this. Uh, so here, uh, if I do this matrix multiplication, what will be the first column of this matrix multiplication? A x one, right? Yeah. This is some vector, and yes, you understand, right? This is a vector. Yes. Okay. This is another vector, a x two, right? And like that. Understand? But yes, uh, if I, if I follow this equation, uh, since x one is what say eigen vector of a only, right? Corresponding to some lambda one, correct? Yes. So I can write this, uh, write down this as what? Lambda. Lambda one x one. This is lambda two x two, right? This is lambda three x three. Is it fine? And all are these vectors. Sir, lambda n x n. Ah, no. sorry. Okay, lambda n. Are you guys able to uh, visualize this? Yes, yes. I will show you with that example also uh, that whether this is true or not. But uh, just think about it. Okay. Okay. So you uh, are replacing a with lambda, basically substituting the value of a. Correct. Correct. I will show you that uh, this is correct only. I will show you how. Uh, but. In general, you are able to make the sense out of it, right? Because mm -hmm. this is vector only, right? A x one mm -hmm. is one vector that we uh, that we have seen here, five five, correct? Yes, sir. Right, and but I know that x one is a eigen vector of A. Then I can write uh, like uh, or I can replace this vector A x by this vector lambda x. Is it correct? Mm -hmm. So yes, that is yes. written as lambda one x one. Then uh, uh, a x two can be written as lambda two x two. So all these are again vectors. Okay. This matrix multiplication, I can actually write down again uh, in this way. X one, x two, x n, and lambda one, lambda two, lambda. Two. So all these are zeros. Okay. So, okay. So uh, this is what S. S lambda. And this is uh, let's say this is capital lambda, and this is a diagonal matrix. Right. This is diagonal matrix. Mm -hmm. So we are able to achieve 
diagonalization right and uh, what what kind of diagonal matrix is there is this it's a diagonal matrix uh, containing eigen values right eigen values eigen values of a mm. so uh, in general i if i have any matrix a uh, which is having n independent eigen vectors basically i can form uh, or i can be able to uh, diagonalize or i can able to write this matrix in this format a s equals to s lambda right correct so where s is what the eigen vectors the the matrix of like the matrix uh, containing the eigen vectors of a and lambda is what this is capital lambda okay this this uh, it's a diagonal eigen matrix uh, containing eigen values or uh, in other words i can actually write a s s lambda s inverse fine is it correct yes sir so y s inverse okay it's it's just a multiplication okay you just see if i multiply s inverse on both the sides uh, oh. okay in this way uh, this s s inverse will be the identity matrix correct so a can be written as s lambda s inverse so if i want if i have uh, let's say eigen n independent eigen vectors okay mm. and their corresponding eigen values i will be able to find the matrix a from it correct mm. Mm. right another word is uh, so another way is let's say i i have multiplied s inverse on uh, left side to the both the sides so it will become s s inverse a s will be equals to lambda correct so i what is this this is diagonalization actually right i'm able to uh, so if i have one matrix a and its corresponding eigen vectors are given to me then i can actually find the uh, diagonal matrix which contains the eigen values of a okay so uh, it is having uh, you, the usages or the applications of this uh, properties uh, uh, it, it will be there but it's not currently in our course but you just understand the whole process now i'll show you that uh, how this is working right so uh, can you just tell me the example once again that a this this yes is a eigen vector yeah. this is eigen vectors i make matrix of eigen vectors matrix of eigen okay okay Okay, we'll we'll try to establish that one. So can you just tell me those values? One four something. One four, one four two three. Two three, right? Okay. One four two three, and uh, its uh, uh, corresponding eigen vectors were. Is one one one. one. And minus two one. Minus two one. Minus two one. Okay. And what are the eigen values corresponding to those? Five and zero. Five and. and five and minus one. Minus one. one. Oh, fine. Okay. So suppose. Uh, if i do a into s what is it 1 4 2 3 s is uh, 1 1 2 1 um, we'll do the calculations uh, it will be what is it 5 5 5 5 and what was it 2 minus 1 2 and minus 1 2 minus 1 right okay so you can able to see actually here uh, this 5 is belonging to this eigen value and this minus one is here but it's fine so i can write down this again like this uh one one uh and what is it here minus 2 1 5 Correct. Correct. So this is S, and this is mm -hmm. diagonal matrix. Correct. Lambda. Mm hmm. So this this is correct, right? So if you can, if you have any uh, matrix A given, and if you know the eigen vectors of it, you can uh, convert that into uh, one, you know, or you can make it, uh, or you can find the diagonal matrix of it. And which will contain what the eigen values of uh, that matrix A, right? Mm -hmm. So now, okay, all of this we have seen. Uh, 
and one two more properties i'll tell you uh, a is diagonalizable a is we'll talk about diagonalization more in week 5 okay when we have this complex eigen vectors that point of time we'll talk about it more so a is diagonalizable uh, if all its eigen values that is lambdas are distinct distinct right mm -hmm. distinct and what does it mean it will have n linearly independent eigen independent eigen vectors that's right uh if a is having uh repeated eigen values repeated eigen values then it may or may not have n linear independent eigen linear independent eigen vector okay so you understand right so see this is the fixed property correct so if you have n independent eigen vectors of a then i will surely say that a is diagonalizable correct but if you have uh, uh, repeated eigen values then it can be diagonalizable or it cannot be understand yes. so uh, it it may or may not have any independent eigen vectors means we have to check then we have to check that uh, whether the eigen vectors corresponding to to those repeated eigen values are independent or not if they are independent then you can say that they are uh, no uh diagonalizable or uh, then we can say that whether a or we can tell about whether a is diagonalizable or not so you can say the eigen value could be same but it could have independent different eigen, eigen vectors yes yes it is possible oh that is possible yeah okay right. so and eigen value can also be zero right eigen value can be zero i can actually basically eigen values can be uh, uh, complex mm -hmm. also okay mm -hmm. so uh, it's not like uh, they should always be the real eigen values but we are not dealing with complex eigen values <coughs> currently uh, so but eigen value can be zero okay so there is a property no if it's zero then a is invertible yeah. is not invertible yes then a is singular then again uh, what is, what does that mean a is singular then it is not a full rank matrix yes. right yes yeah so like lot of properties will follow then <coughs> if lambda is zero then uh, a is singular a is not invertible uh, a, then it's not a full rank matrix so lot of things are there correct okay and what does that mean uh, again is yeah what does it mean is uh, then uh, yeah tell to Sir, also means like we did here okay. for this diagonalizable thing. So uh, we have a inverse part also, right? So uh -huh. uh, means in such cases, will we have always two by two matrix, or it can expand there? And if yes, then how we will calculate the inverse? Uh, we can uh, find the inverse of uh, any. Uh, see, first of all, uh, for have for getting an inverse what is the uh, important property its determinant should not its be determinant should not be zero zero or uh, other words it shouldn't be singular matrix right? singular matrix or full it should be a full rank matrix full rank matrix if it is full rank matrix then you can find it for any uh, uh, matrix right you can find the inverse for any matrix so i use rlef method for that no Uh, for finding uh, inverse is there is another method right that is i think cofactor matrix method is there right that i don't remember actually <laughs> okay yes, we find the cofactors so how matrix, then no but we... generally how you find then for 2 by 2 also how you are finding the no no for 2 by 2 i know 2 by 2 i know how come you know for 2 by 2 So it's just a trick to so have the a one one a two two and reverse the signs of a one yeah. two and that is also cofactor method. <laughs> ah, that is uh, cofactor method. Okay, this trick also comes from <laughs> cofactor. Okay. Okay. Oh. But okay, that means you guys have forgot uh, like how to find this s inverse or or any inverse. Huh? 
ಸಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ this by using trick until now huh? only you <laughs> yeah kind of <laughs> i didn't solved actually no sir right okay. okay for 3 by 3 i just used means uh, uh, the normal there is also a trick for one 3 uh, by 3 also yeah it's a diamond I, I diamond know. where you can have this minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 mm-hmm. and other values will follow the same uh, and then again uh, transpose of uh, this right like okay what do you do generally to find the 2 by 2 matrix 1 1 minus 2 i'll tell you the same thing okay s inverse what is the trick for you first of all find the determinant right yeah what do you do okay so the determinant is uh, 1 minus 2 3. plus 3 right that's 1 mm-hmm. by 3 then what do you do you just take a transpose of it right yes and now reverse the signs uh uh-huh. so minus 1 and 2 and this is the way right the similar mm-hmm. way you can find it for anything so it's not reverse the sign actually it's like minus 1 to the power uh, i plus j okay 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 right so here if you see for the first one is because this is a11 right so 1 plus 1 is 2 so minus 1 square is plus so that's why the signs here here it's not changing right okay here it's changing because uh that's a negative 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 is 3 so minus 2 and 1 okay one. that's why the uh, so the so these value won't be swap i mean the a12 and a21 no yes. not swap means what because we 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 have to take the transpose of this right we have okay. to find the cofactor cofactor uh, the co-factor. Co-factor. second and third element would not be re- uh swapped yeah yeah that's what i'm saying I mean, two one be, uh, not the same only signs one and two sign changes uh, only sign will change change the position hmm. only sign will be changed for a a11 and a22 hmm. only it will swap swap means what 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 is what are you just changing the position now the position. we uh, change the rows into column and column into ha ha we don't take the whole transpose instead what we do is we change the positions of a11 and a22 no actually you have to find the cofactor matrix and then find the transpose of it yes sir so if you do the cofactor matrix cofactor matrix so what uh, okay how to find the cofactor matrix is uh, okay so let's say uh, this co-factor. this is the matrix yeah, this is the matrix right so cofactor of this is what one one right this this one the uh, right quarter one right quarter yeah because uh, you are just doing this right and then yes. that is still left one, right correct yeah so, okay then for uh, this value one. one one so where you will write that one or right side right side first to write the cofactor matrix mm. without transpose mm. So also we have that one minus one raised to the power one plus one right yes so, yeah. so this so, is minus one. This is minus one okay so first okay i'm, I'm just okay first of all we'll write, write the cofactor matrix cofactor. i'll write as uh, let's say cf huh? mm-hmm. so that it will be easier for us to know so cf is equals to what so a is it's uh, a i j uh so uh, i minus one to the power ij i'm doing it uh, you just understand it okay so minus 1 to power 2 is 1 i'm not writing it for this position what is the cofactor here 1 1 right i have one written it here correct so i have written it here so this is positive right yeah. what about a 1 2 it is 1 and this then way. we have to add minus minus 1 minus 1 and uh, where i'll write it here here yeah, yeah. Hmm. correct yeah okay what about this this position so uh, minus, 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 two, two, minus two minus two but but the position here is minus two one right so it's minus one so minus one will associated with it so it is mm-hmm. plus two correct yes 
right yeah. Yeah. then uh, what about the this one it's one, one. and it is positive one understand yeah. yes then you have to take the transpose transpose, transpose. so i'll say co, co uh, cofactor matrix transpose which is what 1 2 correct minus yeah. one. yes sir it is correct and minus 1 1, one. Right? and the one. final one. s s inverse will be 1 by, 3, 1 by 3 1 by 3 times 1 2 1 4 okay yes sir Correct. sir so what you did wrong in the trick is we don't swipe the a12 and a21 elements sir. Sir. we just keep them at their positions and only reverse the signs uh, yeah yeah finally it is so it was uh, this was swapped actually right the diagonal ones yes sir but he, here uh, those were one one so we didn't uh, do anything so similarly if it is Three cross three. What you'll do is, you will have, you will follow the same uh, thing, right? We'll just do for something. Okay, this is a. Then you'll find cofactor matrix. Like, uh, so what is the cofactor matrix here? So we multiply five into one. Five minus twelve. Five minus twelve, which is five minus twelve. Minus seven. Minus seven, and it will be minus seven, right? Not the plus yes, seven. Okay. Yes. All right. So this, so I'll write minus seven here. Then for this position, uh, four minus twelve, right. which minus is eight. minus eight, but we then uh, so it is plus eight, eight. right? Yes. Then if you go there uh, for this position, it will be eight minus ten. Eight minus ten, which is minus two. And it is one three. That means uh, minus two will remain as it is, right? Then for this position, it will be two, two minus eight. six. Two minus six is minus four, and this is two one position. So the sign will change. Two, it is plus six, right? Mm. Uh, what about this? Four four. Sir four. Oh, okay four. Okay fine. Uh, what about this? Four one minus, minus one huh? minus. Minus five. Minus, minus four. Minus, minus four or minus five. Minus five. Minus five. Minus five. Okay. okay. What about here? Two minus <coughs> two minus four, which is minus two, and then it is two three, so it is plus sign, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what about here? Six twelve minus fifteen. Minus plus, three. Plus three, but uh, again, oh, Nine. it's plus three, right? No, minus three. Minus, minus three. three. Third row. Three. Ah, 12 minus 12 minus. Okay. okay. Four. Six minus 12. So, no, you said plus three. So, 12 minus 15. Six. Okay, sorry. You, okay. Correct, correct, correct. Five yeah. minus eight. Minus three. And it is three, three. So, minus three. Right. Sorry. And then we'll transpose. take a transpose. So, take a transpose means. Minus seven, four, minus three, uh, then eight, minus five, six, then minus two, two, minus three, and we'll just divide by its determinant, and that is what. So you just so this is how you find for three by three matrix. So we take the determinant of cofactor matrix or the original matrix. No, no, original, original. Sir, so what trick you were mentioning earlier that yeah, I mean, was that you draw? There, there is no trick actually. See, this is not a trick. This is like the signs here, right? So mm -hmm. it is always the diamond uh, these positions, right? So you see these positions, signs are uh, reversed, right? Like otherwise, uh, everywhere the signs, whatever the sign of cofactor uh, is there, mm -hmm. we're uh, taking that. And this is not like a trick or something because you can say, right, it's minus one to the power i plus j. So here mm -hmm. it's one plus one. It will always, it, it's like, uh, it's not two. Changing. So one square will minus one square this, will be two and times minus yeah. seven. So this position is one, two. This position this is two, three. thing is good for remembering. Uh, remembering. Yeah, to check, to check whether we are doing the uh, correct, uh, or, that's cross checking, I can say. Okay, right? but yeah, this is a lengthy process. <laughs> <laughs>
that is what you are doing for two by two also. Okay. Okay. So question number. Thirteen, we are skipped, right? Because uh, I think I told you that. You said uh, that it will not be. It yeah. is not in now, right? Uh, okay, then we'll. I think we'll we'll solve the fifteenth and sixteenth and seventeen first, and then we'll go to question number uh, fourteen. Okay. Okay. So the length of error vector obtained by projecting u onto v is. So. Okay. So I think okay, it's there. so maybe i'll give you the theory behind it again so i thought i'll do it later but it's there so uh, do you know how to do the projection and how how this formula for projection is coming from that b minus a right e equals to b minus a yeah. e is equal to b minus okay, one minute i'll list but that p we have to find first we have to find the error vector right uh, the yeah. length of error vector that means e uh, so uh, let's let's First of all, I'll uh, uh, if you have time, I'll just quickly in fifteen minutes. I'll please, sure, sir. <laughs> sure, sir. Go ahead. Sir, you are not audible. Now? Mm, yeah, now you are audible. I mean, now you are audible. Sir. Okay, so I was saying that when I'm projecting uh, uh, B onto A, there is a vector, this error vector E, because this is also a vector, and it is perpendicular to A. What does that mean? That means A and E are orthogonal to each other, right? Yes, sir. And oh, what is what does it mean again? The dot product of dot product will be zero. Yeah, zero. A will be zero. Or I'll say that A transpose E is equals to zero. Zero, right? Okay. But what is E? E is error vector. E or, or E is what? B minus P, right? Error vector is fine, but this is B minus P, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So A transpose this is B minus P equals to zero. But what is P? Then P is projection. Yeah, it's a projection, but projection onto A, and it's uh, so actually. Uh, so if you see, if this is one vector A, A right, and uh, if some this is some vector, another vector, let's say uh, C. How can I represent C in terms of A? It's some no, multiplication of some yeah some x times A, right? Yes. That is what we are doing here. This projection. i am expressing in terms of x times a okay so i have a question here yeah uh if i am not wrong you are saying that uh, the red line the red arrow that you draw huh. is p right huh. and if we are concerned about p huh. then means we why we are means extending it uh, means scaling it that x is some scaling factor there right hmm so why we are scaling that means we are not concerned entire mm -hmm. about entire a so means the entire a is much larger than the p itself so why we are doing that no this is that is, is a projection of a projection right? of b right projection of b hmm. onto a hmm. x is a fraction in this case yeah 
is a fraction of a only right i okay maybe i i don't understand your question fully but see i mean uh, you have heard my question oh, actually yes go ahead please okay so okay so this p is what a transpose b times uh, sorry b minus x a right c mm -hmm. yes sir okay so if i expand this uh, what will will be a transpose b uh minus what is it a, uh, transpose, a transpose, transpose or x a transpose a i can write hmm. right so uh, that means again a transpose b is equals to x a transpose a right and if i wanted to find x only then it will be a transpose b upon a transpose a, a. so this is my uh, that uh, i'll say the, the the fraction you are talking about right so it is there uh -huh. so now projection vector p will be what ax right uh -huh. and then if it is ax then uh, a times a transpose b uh -huh. upon a transpose a that is sir, my uh, yes sir x a and a x are equal ha x a and a x because it's kind of a fraction right it's not i mean uh, those are the matrices if i'm not wrong i mean no x is the scalar na no? x is the scalar here it's we are talking about vectors here not uh, the matrix okay, okay 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 right so maybe to remove that confusion because, because but it will translate uh, it to matrix later on Fine, so yeah, I mean, I tried some questions and I found it a transpose uh, b divided by uh, a transpose is some metrics I found sometimes. I mean, yeah, questions. but this is this is vector. I think we, I have talked about it, that in the previous session that when uh, it will translate to the matrix, this a transpose b divided by a transpose a will not be there, uh, but it will have what? Uh, inverse. 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 Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, we will uh, maybe we'll uh, discuss that also a bit but yeah currently this is the projection right this is the projection vector yeah. or i'll say uh, uh, is a projection vector there right fine so uh, and okay, this is the way i'll draw this okay so if this projection vector i'll write in terms of uh, because i am projecting like b onto a i'm just writing down this like this a a transpose upon a transpose a times b fine fine so what yeah it's a projection vector project yeah yeah right and this is later on it, this will become what projection matrix projection, projection matrix, matrix yeah Right. So uh, P is equals to this is the projection, right? This is the projection, and this is the projection matrix, and we are projecting B onto A. Fine. This is okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. And now we are trying to solve this problem, right? Now, and we have to find a length of error vector. Uh, length of error vector is not. Uh, what is it then? Here. the norm of the vector that we will get up no, the minus p yeah. correct so first of all what is error vector now if i wanted to find error vector here is e equals to b minus b, b. p but what is p now ax ax mm -hmm. ha but like oh, that is okay but here we have found out no a a, a, a transpose b that one a, a transpose a, a transpose upon a transpose a transpose a into b into b or uh, into, a. into a b into b b, b. yeah right? into because yeah yeah, yeah. Yes, this yes. vector and this whole thing is also vector right right hmm. okay so i wanted to find so for finding the length of the error vector what i have to find i have to find these things right so coming to the our question what is now we wanted to project u on to v right mm -hmm. so here uh, u will sir, be just what just a quick question sir mm -hmm. uh, so this error will be the projection in the error right i mean the error we are getting on projecting the b vector on to the b right 
error is this this one this the this this vector yeah so the error i mean the concept of this error is the pro, in this the error in the projection, projection. Right? yes pro projection i will not say because this is projection this projection this is uh, okay okay I, this is error only okay i will how to <laughs> okay no i mean i, I was a bit a little bit confused like what is the error here i mean it's a error in the projection or it's the error on the uh, a vector that is we are getting okay what so, actually uh, what is uh, why we are calling it error uh, what i feel is because see the when i say this is a right and when i say this is b okay so if you just find the length of the b right it's not equals to length of this projection right yes because it there will contract or it will it, de it depends on this length of a fine if it is contracted if this a is smaller and if b is like this uh, okay but I, I don't know like when we are able to do it or not but the the length of b is not equals to length of P, right? Is it because that projection. if we if we add add error to the projection, like in yes, that yes, five correct. Hours, yeah, yeah. P square yes, equals definitely. Be square because equals they are perpendicular, right? This right, so. this forms a triangle. Yeah. And so maybe see, because of that, hence we are calling it yeah, as an error. Yeah, yeah, that is invisible. That it's a Pythagoras theorem. That it's P yeah. and B. So that and is... that is why we are calling this as error. Error in uh, that length length of B. Right, when, while after projecting uh, onto it, fine. Right? Mm, okay, okay, yeah. Now it's kind of clear, yeah. Okay, fine. So let's let's uh, solve this one. Uh, can you tell me? Okay, here we wanted to. Uh, okay, this these are not a and b, but we we wanted to project u onto v. What is b here and what is a here? Uh, b is b u v u is a and a v. Okay. Fine. So B is U. So I'll write down this like this. E, e is equals to U minus P. So U minus uh, V V transpose upon V transpose V times U. Right? Yes. Sir. Okay. So can you just tell me what are uh, this U and V? What is u? U is minus one four two. Minus one four two. V is, is one two one two three. One two one two three three. Okay. So let's shall we? Okay, we'll first uh, solve this one, right? V V transpose. Uh, okay, what is V V transpose? Okay, you wanted to do like however you want to do, you can do it. Okay. So V V transpose will give me what? One, two, three, two, and two. one, two, three. So here, this is three cross one. This is one cross three. So this is a three cross three, cross three matrix, right? So what are the values? First row first one, two, three, uh, two, four, six, and six, six, nine. Uh, six, sorry, three, three, six, six, nine. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. Okay. What about? V transpose V. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. This will give me one value, right? What four. is it? One plus four, five, five plus nine, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. So uh so I'll solve this side now. This side. This will be uh one, two, three, two, four, six, three, six, nine. And this is one by fourteen, correct? Yes, Times sir. u. U is okay. what? Minus one four two. So one by fourteen I'll keep outside. Uh, this is three cross three. This is three cross one. So I'll get three cross one. I'll get a vector. Uh, so, so minus one plus eight uh, plus seven plus seven plus six thirteen. Can you tell me the values if you already calculated? Thirteen. Huh? Twenty-six, thirty-nine. Ah, okay. So uh, yeah, all these are the multiples, right? Correct. Okay. Mm. Multiples of thirty. Mm. Okay, and then I have to find e. So e is equals to uh, u minus minus this one, this quantity. 
calculation here minus 1 minus 1.92 is minus 1.924 minus 1.85 will come around uh, 1.15 sir 2.2 uh, 2.15 uh, 2. and 2 minus uh, this will come as minus point 0.78 and if you you just have to square these values minus 1.92 square plus 2.15 square plus uh, minus 0.78 square So just do the calculations, then you see. And I don't think it will go to six, right? By looking at these values, you can tell that uh, this will not go. The square root of it will not go to the six, right? Because it's coming around four, four and five. So square root of five. So yeah, it's coming uh, like around two point five or something, right? Yes, two point five. Because if you just approximate this one point nine two, this will become two square. This will also become around two square, and this will let's say one square. Then it's four plus four plus one, right? So this still it will come around close to three. It will not go to the six, right? You just check your calculations. Two point eight eight, right? Yeah. Fine. Ah, uh, so let's go ahead with question number sixteen. So consider a line with zero slope uh, and y-intercept of two. Consider a line with zero slope. 
okay and y intercept of 2 the sum of squared residues obtained with this line is used to fit the following data set okay fine 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 uh, okay. accepted answer is what six six <laughs> okay so how to solve this question equation is given uh, slope yeah. zero and y intercept That's of two, two. So, yeah. y so what does it mean y it's a constant two. line y equals to two it's a constant line and you just have and this this is the data set you have given so you have just how to find the residual so yeah. how to find the residuals sir y minus 2 whole square summation of y yeah. my, uh, minus y mm -hmm. i minus 2 ka whole square i to n uh, so do you need to find uh, like use the linear algebra here first of all um. no right no, no, sir. Sir. <laughs> no sir, this, this is a very <laughs> straightforward question, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So two minus two. So you you okay. actually here you don't need to use that x values also anywhere, right? You just, uh -huh. Because slope is zero, so all values. Yeah. So y equals to two is the equation of line, right? So it's a constant line, and this you have to find the sum of residues. So it is two minus two square is zero, uh, four, one. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So I think it's root of 6 divided by 4. Right? No, it is only sum of the residuals. So it is sum six. of the residuals. So. Yes, sir. Yeah. Not divided by 4. Oh, only sum they have asked. Okay. Mm -hmm. Squared, uh, sum of is squared, no? Ha. Ha, the, the yeah. Sum of squared is 6. We need six to take difference and square it uh, yeah. and then sum. Yes, sir. So it's six, right? Directly. Yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that it's it's I think it's from week one. It's not uh yeah, the it's, square it's method. Uh, reduction, I guess. Maybe. I'm not sure. Not reduction. Not uh, it's the, regression. Uh, regression line. Regression. Yeah, regression. 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 Simple, regression. simple question. This is a very simple question. Okay. Question number seven. This question is like <laughs> but in case of getting <laughs> lost, uh, I need to divide it by four, but here we, yeah, we will not correct, divide correct. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. But the, the, the way it is framed, it, it may feel uh, difficult. Yes, is, yeah. Yeah. yes. Uh -huh. many questions in PYQ, oh. sir. Yeah. Okay. So question yeah. number 17 yeah. is uh, if the matrix A is reduced to its triangular echelon form, number of free variables are okay. reduced to its form. We can do. <laughs> you can do, right? So we'll, we'll discuss about this question, uh, 14th one. That, the 17, uh, I think you guys have done like a lot of times, I guess. Order, yeah. Yes. Right? So I don't need uh, to show it again. Okay. Which of the following statements are correct? If 0 is the eigenvalue of matrix A, then A can't be invertible. Is it correct? Uh, no. No, no it's, co it's correct, right? We talked about this already. Why, why I'll tell yes, you? Uh, so the I determinant. And okay. can you please explain? Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Okay. So suppose. What, uh, what according to properties of eigenvalues, uh, do you know? Uh, okay, so uh, let's say A, B, C, D is uh, a matrix A, okay? Mm -hmm. And suppose lambda 1 and lambda 2 are these eigenvalues. So the properties will say A plus D is equals to lambda 1 plus lambda 2, right? The trace of yes. <laughs> this is called trace of the matrix. Yes. yes. These two properties you should remember always, okay? One is another property is lambda one into lambda two is what determinant of matrix, right? So if one of the eigenvalues is zero, what does that mean? Determinant goes to zero. Determinant zero, and if determinant is zero, that means matrix is singular, not invertible. Yeah, that is not it is singular or not invertible, right? Mm -hmm. So, so that is what option is. Diagonalize that matrix. You cannot diagonalize again. Diagonalize, yeah. Yeah. So everything will follow, right? Okay. Yeah. So you should understand. So if you understand the basic thing, then you can uh, uh, translate it to any other advanced uh, level of you know, concepts. Okay. So option B is if all the eigenvalues of matrix A are zero, then A is a zero matrix. No, sir. That we cannot say, right? No, that sir. we cannot say. If all the eigenvalues. Uh, see, uh, it can be like 
okay so if all eigen values are zero it is possible suppose this is kind of matrix okay i'm just giving you one example okay so i will give 2 by 2 only not or maybe 3 by 3 also so so suppose i will say this 1 2 3 4 upper triangular matrix if this is upper triangular matrix and if it is upper triangular i know what are the eigen values here all eigen values are zero right zero yeah if they are zero but is is this a zero matrix zero no. matrix is what no. matrix all, 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 all zero, are zero. Mm -hmm. but yeah. it is not possible right then right, sure. sir okay got it so that means option b is incorrect Right. Uh, if three is the eigen value of matrix A, then nine is the eigen value of A square. Yes. There is a right. property about. This, these are the properties you can. Yes. Uh, uh, you have already studied, right? So, uh, so option A and option C are correct. Every two by two matrix has at least one real eigen vector. That we cannot say, right? Not, not really. It can have complex eigen vectors oh. also. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I think we have solved all questions. I uh, so you said you? that you will explain me two questions. Ah, two sure. questions. One it's was the just... recent. Okay, sure. before that, yeah. Before if any other doubts number, are there, just let me know. Question number fifteen, the last so, calculation. Hmm. Can you like hmm. show that it is because I am not getting it. Because I am getting this same values minus twenty seven by fourteen, thirty by fourteen, and seventy eight by fourteen. Seventy eight. Yes, take oh, that this last. This thirty-nine. This thirty-nine. Thirty. We will do uh, two minus thirty-nine by fourteen, right? Or will we not do? Uh -huh. that? Okay. Yeah. Two minus thirty-nine by fourteen. Yeah. You, okay. You you are stuck here. You are saying here yes. here you are not able to do. That. Okay. So. Okay. Sorry, I may have made a mistake. Subtraction okay. mistake. I guess. Just take okay. one. Sir. Sir, I have a question in the same fifteenth question. Uh -huh. uh, can you please come to the diagram that you used initially to explain mm -hmm. the projection? Yeah. So over here, now we are mm -hmm. supposed to find the length of E, right? Mm -hmm. huh. So we are subtracting two vectors directly. Mm -hmm. uh, means the direction of uh, B and uh, P is different, right? So I didn't get the subtraction part. How can we subtract two vectors directly? If they are in two different, I mean, okay. so I didn't get how B minus P gives us. Okay. That's okay. The that is vector addition. Vector, vector uh, you have to go. So here, here P plus A is equal to B. So then I, e, e, e can be written as B minus P. Okay. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. This is yes, law of vector addition. It's like it will yes. stem to the vector calculus, right? It's like very basic of it. Maybe you see for this, right? I am I am sure that you guys have studied it somewhere, or maybe you haven't studied. For that, you have to little bit, you know, go through some mass textbooks uh, on vectors. Vectors is if you understand it, it's very easy. You would, uh, other you understand, right? By this B minus P then. So yes, sir. Okay. Sir, if you show the direction of E, it is it is more elaborate. It's okay. You you guys can find it out. No issue. Okay, yeah. just uh, tell me which questions we have to discuss. The two. Sir, uh, there was no question on uh, regression. Sir, we are getting a question. Hmm. Yes, sir. Fitting curve was not there. No question was there. Fitting curve. Fitting curve. Polynomial regression. I mean. Sir, uh, question number eight, uh, one that I want. Putting the curve, uh, question number eight, I will just come to that. Uh, this, okay. Putting the curve is fitting a line, you are saying? List yeah. Yeah, 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 list, list right. line. There was no question in this mock. Okay. Either to fit a polynomial or to fit a straight line, nothing. Uh, so, do you, uh, okay, I'll, maybe I'll. I'll uh, uh, show you then then i'll just give you some uh, i will not do the calculation okay maybe yeah, i'll yeah. do the calculations as well but basically uh, i want basically. to know that uh, sure. two, why two different approaches were there for polynomial fitting and 
polynomial and... fitting uh, i will not show maybe because uh, okay that is uh, maybe that is again a different uh, is it is it okay if i show you uh, the least square method that uh, fitting a line by using the linear algebra method yes 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 huh? so uh, that is basically coming from projection of vectors only right, okay? right. yes yes mm. so i'll just show you that uh, in a, like maybe in 10 minutes okay. so uh, generally so fitting a line means what uh, okay so let's say you have uh, maybe i'll use one diagram here so this is x this is y okay and uh, suppose this, i'll just use some coordinates here 1 2 3 um, so 1 2 a simple line fit i'll show um, and there is some line actually passing through it okay and there are some points so which is 1 1 okay uh, 1 1 then let's say 1 2 1 2 will be somewhere here or, or 2 or 2 2 2 2 and 1 1 2 2 okay i'll get 2 2 and uh, there is 3 2 okay 1 1 suppose this is okay there is this point 1 1 on the line okay uh, and there is this point 2 2 and there is one point three two. Okay. So, uh, what's happening here? This this line is not. Let's say it's, it's going through one one. Fine. Uh, what is the uh, so? Uh, there is some error here, right? And let's say the equation of this line is uh, y equals to uh, some c plus dx, right? Fine. We are trying to fit these two uh, uh, points. Okay, so the, these are the data points. Suppose x, y, one, 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 two, two, and three, two. What you'll do here? You try to fit this data set and how to and try to find some y hat, right? Yeah. Is it correct? And yeah. that is the equation of line. So here, if you see, uh, suppose this is some line y equals to c plus dx, there is some error right here, correct? Yes. Uh, so, <clears throat> so if it, if there is an error, uh, what you do generally to uh, that, that that what does it mean? If I use the linear algebra here, then I may not be able to uh, find the exact solution, right? Right, exact solution. Okay, maybe okay. I'll, I'll uh, go through that again properly. So maybe okay. What is the equation of uh, the, uh, by using if equation of this line by using this point one one c plus d equals to one. Yes. Right. 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 right? Yes. By using the point two 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 c plus two d equals to two is equal to two. Right. All of you are agree with this. Correct. Yes, sir. Uh, sure. Then equation of line using the point uh, C plus 3D equals is to equal 2. To is it correct? Correct. Yes, sir. So this, this is the uh, system of linear equation we wanted to uh, find the answer. But uh, by looking at this, if you, uh, I can say that, right, that there is no solution to this. Is it correct? Correct. Yes. Yes, sir. And if in matrix form, how it will look like? This, this will look like 1, 1, 1, 2. 1, 3, mm -hmm. and here it will be CD. Mm -hmm. so if I use, uh, let's say, DX here, so here it is CD, and what is the, uh, uh, this is 1, 2, 2. So is this a similar form, AX equals to B, right? Yes. right? right. This is the known form to us, right? Now, I wanted to find a solution to it, but I know there is no solution because there is some error here, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when there is an error, what we do generally, you try to project, project, right? project it, project it, right? So <laughs> the solution, the, the solution after projecting it is what I, I think I one day I told you, uh, I think the, the, uh, the previous uh, class that a transpose a x hat equals to a transpose b. B. Yeah. This is the best solution. We are yeah. having. Correct. 
right this is this will not give me exact value of c and d this will mm. give me some approximate value but that will give me the solution right mm. correct that will satisfy my uh, this system of linear equation mm -hmm. right so and uh, sir can i ask one question here yeah. Yeah. To, uh, because i'm correlating with the polynomial fit also okay In the same way when i go for the polynomial fit mm. ax square plus bx plus c Mm. And then uh, same way, if I form the matrix, yeah. the final solution, the formula which is used in the tutorial is just A transpose B. That's all. X hat is equal to A transpose B. X hat is equal to uh, A transpose, A transpose B. B. That's all. A, sorry, A inverse B. That's all. There is uh, the A transpose A and all is not coming in that uh, polynomial fit so i could not correlate between that logic and this logic okay uh but i so okay so i haven't seen that one actually the polynomial fit one. okay but uh, maybe maybe I, if i see that right i'll try to uh, answer you on that question Correct. but okay currently uh, let's leave it yeah, please proceed because, this yeah uh, we'll finish this and maybe because i think there is no question on polynomial uh, fit so do not worry about it, but I will go through that and I'll try to explain in uh, maybe next class or something. Fine. Right, right. We'll, we'll discuss it uh, for sure, not an issue. Okay. I have to see that because uh, then I'll try to correlate between this, what I'm trying to show you and then with that. Is it okay? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So fine. So this, uh, this is the best solution we'll have, right? So after that, um, I can find X hat as what? A transpose. Uh, a inverse, right? This side. Mm -hmm. A transpose A inverse into A transpose B. Is it correct? Correct, correct. This is because yes. we have system of matrices, not uh, mm. right. right. Correct. These are not vectors, these are matrices. Now, what is the projection matrix P then? This is AX bar, right? AX bar, yeah. So, what does that mean? A into A transpose A inverse. A transpose B, transpose right? B. This X bar I have just substituted here, right? Correct. Correct. Until this point is fine. Yes. Okay. So that means P is equals to A X bar, right? This is the solution, or this is the projection matrix I have to solve it for, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. So basically, I'll what I'll do is uh, I'll find A transpose A first. A transpose A. So what is A transpose A here? Or uh, not A transpose A. I'll try. I'll solve it exactly like this. I'll solve. Uh, I'll solve this in a simple ways. I, I'll use the augmented matrix here. Okay. So it is. So what are you calculating there? No, I, I am not calculating here. I'll just show you the final answer here. How to solve okay. this? This one, 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 one meter. I'll just one, three. You can do the calculation uh, like this directly, this mm -hmm. way also. Uh, but I'm trying to show you one compact way. It's one, 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 two, three. Entered and this will give me uh, this will give me uh, the values. Okay, just tell me the so this is basically what a a augmented b and this is what is a transpose. Mm. Okay, so this will basically give me this this one a transpose a. Right? Correct? Mm. Yeah. Correct. And and that is actually directly giving me exact. Correct, right? Okay. If you try to visualize this, this is like uh, okay, okay. Fine, right? So what is A given B that part? No, no, Correct. it's not A given B, it's A augmented augmented matrix. Okay, so A augmented B. What is that part? Is that A transpose B there or what? No. Uh, I'm trying to compare the equation. That's why I'm asking. See, this is 
this is that side. Okay, this A transpose A will go, uh, give me from which side? This one and this one, right? This part and this part. If I multiply okay. this, this will okay. give me A transpose A. Mm -hmm. This A transpose into this, this will give me this part, A transpose B. Okay. So we are doing the calculation at the okay. one one uh, one place, okay. right? So can you just tell me the values? So it is one one one. So it is three. Yeah. Uh, one plus two plus three is six. Here six. Uh, here it is one two three six. Uh, here it is one plus four four plus nine, which is fourteen, right? Mm -hmm. And here is uh, five and eleven. Correct. Yeah. Now, uh, just what you have to do now? This is the linear equation we have found out. So three C. So okay, this is <coughs> directly this three six six fourteen. X at is what C D equals to five eleven. This Very is the enough. equation you have found. Mm. Done. Yeah. Yes, so this is three C plus six D equals to five. The equation one. 6c plus 14d equals to 11. This is equation two. Okay. Okay. From this, uh, if I uh, solve this equation, if I uh, subtract it two times, 2d uh, equal to one. Uh, so 2d equals to one, which is d equals to half. half. Right. Yeah. And uh, c equals to the uh, two by three. Three three two by three. Right. <laughs> Below. Right. So, what is the equation of line? Best fit line. Is y equal to two by three plus half x. Y hat equals to two by three plus half uh, x. Yeah. This is the best fit line. Fine. Right? Is it correct? You yeah. can find out the errors also from here. It's easy now. Right? Yes. Error yeah. also you can find right because you just have to plug in the value of x. You'll get that y value, and then you will just have to uh, subtract it. Right? Mm -hmm. You'll get it. Mm -hmm. right? is so you just need to remember this visual, uh, this uh, representation, and then you can understand everything. Regarding the polynomials, <laughs> I'll just come back and tell you. Fine, I'll just go through that video, and I'll. Well, that is tutorial two of week four. Fine, fine, I'll do that. I'll just. I will find out some other resources also to study that, and then I will tell you. It says the theta. We, there we are finding the theta values, theta vector. Okay. The theta vector is given as a trans a transpose b. That's all. That, that that means they have given you the direct solution, but how to come to that solution? That we have to find out, right? <laughs> Mm, but the data points, similar data points only are given. Data input data is given x, output is y. Like that only it is given. We'll see. We'll see. Fine. Yeah. Is this okay? This yeah, fine. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Uh, one this question somebody has to. Okay. So the the, the last two questions I will solve and then we'll uh, wrap up. Fine. I yeah. think we have cover uh, all like most of the concepts we have cover. I guess I. Uh, mm -hmm. Eight and ten. question number ten. Eight and ten. Question ten was the why? Why is the problem? We have discussed it, right? Again. Uh, so basically, the calculation. I am trying to do it, but um, I am not uh, able to understand what you did there. I think it's question number ten only. Yes, it's from the nine. No? Yes. Sir, question number ten also. Like I am also getting three point seven one nine seven, and that's basically the exact expression which you wrote. Mm. But uh, that is not apparently like in the mock at least. It is 3.12 and 3. .12. That is not in the So that is the doubt basically. This is the here. Uh, okay. Can we just solve it then? Okay. One minute. Just tell me the numbers. Can you tell me the uh, A matrix A? A. That is. One minus one, 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 two. So it's like a three by two matrix. Yeah, one, 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 minus one, one, two. Minus one, one, two. And B is? <coughs> one, one, three. Three. One, three. Okay. So I got that uh, consistent thing. Uh, it was totally clear to me.
Okay. okay, but calculations is the problem, right? You're saying the calculation is uh, the so, issue. Fine. Okay, so here we. The question Sir, is I what? think I think you have made a, a small mistake towards the end of the calculation, where instead of seventeen, you calculated it as um, I think uh, twenty-one or something, and then you calculated last time. Uh, okay, I, I so forgot. That, that, that's that's why okay. there is a difference. Yeah. Otherwise. Okay, okay. Uh, Okay, maybe maybe I done that. So I will see then. Uh, what we have to find here is e, e, uh, the length of, of the projection vector. Okay, length of the projection vector, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Maybe some calculation mistake I have done that. I uh, maybe I, the column space of A is both the vector. The so projection vector is what A x hat, right? A x hat. Yes. Correct, right? And what is uh, x hat here? A transpose, A transpose A inverse, inverse and A transpose A B. Transpose. Uh, so B is uh, so basically A is what? Is no, no, just a minute. Uh, it is three cross two. Uh, here A transpose A will be three cross two, and this two cross uh, three cross three. Three cross three. And here it is um, three two cross three. Right. Mm, okay. No, no, no. This is this this wrong, right? A transpose, a transpose will a be. You are doing right. What is a transpose? A is what? Two cross three. Three cross two. So this Sir, will be two cross, cross two, no? A is three cross two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A transpose and will be two cross three. Will be two cross three. So a transpose a will be two cross two, right? Two, two cross, cross two. Yes. Two yes. cross two. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just basically trying to see that whether uh, which will be the easiest calculations, uh, easiest calculations uh, I should do. And this is uh, the first one. Yeah. So basically, this would give me two. So okay, and this okay. So I'll multiply a at the end. Okay, I'll just mm -hmm. multiply a transpose b first, uh, then this one, and then I could. Sir, we can uh, we can again use that compact representation that you said, right? Which one? The one that you used, uh, means like just separating A out and then taking the augmented matrix of A A augmented B. Ha, huh, that also we can do. So that is, but uh, that was like uh, A transpose A into B was there, right? Here we have to do inverse. Uh -huh. That calculation we shouldn't uh, mess with, right? Okay. Huh? Correct, right? Yes, sir. Fine. So A transpose B uh, will be one 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 uh, minus one one two. B is one one three. So uh, D plus two five. Uh, here six plus six. Okay. Is this correct? This is A transpose B. Just check the calculations once. Yes, sir. Uh, here, yes, sir. It's okay. One, 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 minus one, one, two. Here it is one, 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 minus one, one, two. This is two cross two matrix. So first is three. Three. Uh, is three, two. Uh, it's two. How much it is? One, six. four, six, 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 five, six. And this is A transpose A, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so determinant. So if I wanted to find the inverse, so A transpose A inverse will be determinant is eighteen minus four, by fourteen, and six three, six, and two two. Correct. Yes. Yes, sir. Fine. Okay. Now. Uh, I'll multiply this two, right? So uh, a transpose b. I'll multiply here, so it is five six, correct? Mm -hmm. So one by fourteen. Uh, this will give me thirty. Thirty minus twelve, eighteen. Minus ten plus eighteen, uh, eight. Right. So basically, this is uh, nine by seven. It's four by seven, correct? This way. And now I have to multiply this with a. 
minus 112 uh, into... So that's 1 by 14, right? Which one? Uh, that determinant thing is 1 by 14. Huh? Ah, 1 by 14 only, right? Okay. Correct, right? This one. Uh, yes, yes. I was this is looking sure. like 19. Huh? Yeah, that's why. That's why. Yeah. So, okay. This is fine. So this is 3 cross 2 and this is 2 cross 1. So I'll get 3 cross 1. So I'll basically get what so first four this 9 minus 4, it is 5 by 7. Uh, 9 plus 4 is 13 by 7. Uh, 9 plus 8 is 17 by 7. Right? And then I have to find the length of this. Correct? Root of 5 square plus 13 square plus 17 square divided by Seven. Seven. So you just calculate it. So uh, this is twenty-five. One sixty-nine. One sixty-nine. It is uh, two eight nine, right? 289. Divided by seven. So do the calculations. We also have to minus it from the e, no? I mean, no, no. I think it's they have asked only for uh, the length of the projection vector. Yes. Not the error. Vector. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I was confused. The error. I thought it's a question. Yeah. yeah. So you are not audible. No, no, I'm just doing the calculations. You just do the, you also can do the calculation, right? So root of uh, 483, root of 483. So it is 21 point something divided by seven. So it's coming out 3.13. What is the answer? Sir, sir, addition mistake. <laughs> what happened? OK, but it's OK. So what I'm saying is, the important thing is coming around three, right? So whatever the uh -huh. uh, range is given is correct. So where did you do, do the calculation? I am not sure. So, Sir, we I like I did a uh, addition mistake, last so, step. See, that's what and you asked me to uh, write down all the solution, huh? So question five, if can you solve? So, sir, just uh, add on this. So in case if we have to find the uh, error uh, distance, then we should subtract it from B. Is that right? Yeah. So this this is what? This is a projection, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, then you have to subtract this vector. Which one? This vector. From B. OK. Yeah. So then, and after that, you have to do this. This kind yeah. of thing. Okay. Yeah. Right? Fine. Got it. So yeah. I have one question from the previous question paper. permit. Seems little easy, but I don't know what I'm doing. The mistake. So sure, for question number that. eight, I just want to know how you are calculating those gradients. This is simple, right? This I, I actually I was not getting. Means you are doing. Uh, means you are taking some step value or something like that, right? What okay, I'll just I'll just try. Okay, one one minute. Huh? Okay, this is x n okay. plus one is equals to this is x n minus h of delta f. Right. Fine. Delta oh, F at X N. Fine? Huh, okay. 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 What is H? H is step size. Huh. And I think step size is given constant here, which is 0.25. Point. So X N is some vector. Minus 0.25 times the gradient at that X N. So what is X N? Initial X N is 1, 3. 1, 3. So it is 1, 3 minus what is uh, function F? X square plus Y, y square. square. Del f will be 2x, 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 2x and 2y. And at 1, 3. So at xn means here at 1, 3. What is it? Uh, uh, it's 2 and, two and 6. six. six. Right? Still here I understood. OK. So here, uh, 1, 3 minus 0.25 times 2 is how much? Uh, 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5, yeah. Right. 3 minus point. Uh, so uh, point, uh, it is 1.5. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. So 3 minus 1.5. This is 1.5. This is what? This is, let's say, x1. Right? Oh, this was x. So for the next iteration, what will happen? Let's say x2 will be what? Then this x1 mm -hmm. minus 0.5 times. 0.25 times. Uh, 0.25 times. Sir, if I'm not wrong, uh, then. We'll have to plug in these values here. OK. So it is 1 three. and 3. three. three. So in every next iteration, you will replace that xn with so it, it will change, right? 
वेट अ सेकंड एफ ऑफ एक्स एन तो एक्स एन हियर इज एक्स टू राइट नो एक्स वन एक्स वन ओके एक्स वन ओके दैट एक्स एन प्लस वन ओके राइट तो एक्स वन आई गोट इट वी पर्ट दस हियर एंड ओके एंड दिस इज द ग्रेडिएंट सो ग्रेडिएंट वी पर्ट एट द वेरी स्टार्ट वाइ सर ग्रेडिएंट इज द सेम राइट ग्रेडिएंट इज डिपेंड ऑन ऑन द फंक्शन This is x square plus y. Same in the sense, uh, this no, the, uh, this two x two y. In terms of two, that is same. When you rip, uh, like give uh, enter the value, so initially which value uh, we have substituted for x y? One three. One three, yeah. Right. Later we we'll, we have to substitute point five one point five, and then it will change to this. Okay, so same. you directly did it. Yeah. So. Yeah, you have to do it right like okay. okay do are you are you confused with this 1 3 with this yes this yes this is not the yes, same actually no, no. i am confused with no, that no 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 that is not the, after putting this 0.5 and 1.5 i got so this is accidentally you got 1 3 it need okay. not be 1 3 i was thinking means why we put that x1 there no 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 after you see the so 2x and 2y mm -hmm. if i substitute 0.5 here 2 2 mm -hmm. times 0.5 is 1 1.5 times 2 is 3 So basically, Understand? we are reducing our uh, length to get the local minimum. Uh, yeah, we are actually heading towards it, right? So okay, okay, got it. Now, okay, so somebody has okay, how okay. many questions can we expect from week one? Uh, I think I am not sure. Okay, I'll tell you at the end. Uh, we'll first of all, uh, somebody has asked me some question. Oh, okay, sir. Huh? Yes, yeah, sir. I have a question, question five. Sir. Five is what? What is the problem? Five. actually i join later uh, i'm not able to solve it we already solved it uh, uh, in the it's previous revision session previous revision previous session you can just uh, check that i go through with you make sure huh? okay yeah okay. any other question yeah sir i have a question sir ha huh. it's, a, it's a question from the previous year question before huh, right. it's a huh. question is i mean the question seems little pretty easy but i don't ha huh, tell me tell me no sure solve it yeah so there is a matrix which is uh, A matrix is uh, a equals to the eight three two seven. A equals to eight three two seven. And is it a eight three two seven? Now okay. it is saying find a diagonal mat. Uh, find the matrix P such that P inverse AP is diagonal. Ah right right. So we have uh, today we have seen that concept right? Uh, how to do the diagonalization? So it is generally A S is equals to S uh, lambda right? Yes, lambda. So lambda equals to s inverse s. Or I can say that s inverse. Uh, yes. So, uh, yeah. So lambda is equal to. Ah, uh, lambda is equal yeah. to inverse s. Or there is uh, s inverse s. Or there is another way. A can be written as. Uh, what? A can be written as uh, s. Uh, s lambda. inverse lambda s uh, lambda. Is it correct? Yeah. yeah. What is what is given in the question paper? Uh, just only this matrix, and it is saying that find the matrix P such that P inverse uh, AP is uh, diagonal. P inverse AP is diagonal, right? Yeah. So uh, this will, this is resembling towards like this, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. So you have to find what S. Hmm. What is that means? It is P here. Right. And what so is the S? S is what? S is the eigen vectors. So basically, you have to find what. Sir, I have find the eigen vector, but it is ah, not. We will uh... we'll, we'll find. We will find. Okay. Yeah. So first of all, we have to find the eigen values. So eight minus lambda, three. Uh, is it fine? Right. I can go uh, like later. Yeah. Uh, it is eight minus lambda three two and seven minus lambda. Then we get the eigen values five comma ten at the end. Fifteen uh, lambda plus lambda square times six plus two zero. So lambda square minus fifteen lambda uh, plus fifty plus zero. So any roots ten into five. So five comma ten. Minus five plus zero. So lambda equals five ten. Right. So corresponding to five, I need to find. Uh, let's say uh, for lambda equals to a minus five into identity matrix. Okay. So it is three. Three, two, two, right? And this x one, x two equals to zero, zero, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. And I think you'll get uh, one minus one one, right? Yeah, I'm not same. Okay. Or this is okay. So you get like this, right? So three x one. Yeah, three x one plus three x two equal to zero, and then two x one plus two to zero. Same, same only. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. minus one. Yeah. Yeah, it's minus. so that is three x one equals to minus three x two. Basically, yeah. you'll get x one equals to minus x two, and that means it is minus one, one. Yeah. Fine. Or one minus one. Yeah, similar. So that is my uh, one eigenvector. Uh, what about uh, lambda equals to ten? So ten means eight minus this minus two, three. It is similar as uh, one minus one. Met, I mean uh, eigenvector also, right? Which one? This one. Yeah, no, uh, it is similar because I can say that minus one times this, right? So yeah, is some uh, some scalar only. So this k k equals to minus one, right? So actually, it will uh, it will so same basis, right? Yeah, that's uh, masking. You you can have uh, that one positive above and one negative below. Because that's if you use k equals to minus one, you will get one minus one, right? Yeah. Basically, you wanted to find the basis of the vector, right? So it's here. Okay, that is okay. Uh, what is is it here for ten? Uh, so minus two x one is equal to three x. Huh? Sorry. Oh, yeah, please. Uh, uh, yeah, minus two x one plus three x two equal to zero. So zero. this two x one equals to three x two. So x one by three and x two by two. So it is three two. Right. Mm, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, so if it is three two, uh, then I think your uh, that will become like minus one one three two or three two minus one one. Uh, if yeah. I if I and generally this this will be the case because we go from uh, the la L lambda one will always so in the diagonal matrix right like lambda one lambda two lambda three we go from the higher uh, lambda one. So corresponding to that lambda one, uh, mm -hmm. the three two will come in the first. So okay. Three two minus. Maybe it's a bit of mistake in my calculation. Sorry. Okay. This is fine, right? This is okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's, uh, it's the in matrix, yeah. Okay. Sir, in previous question, how you calculated that three and two? Sir, one more question is there. Uh, I guess there, you no? said it won't come, but uh, it is. I think it's on that uh, domain also. So can I share my screen? Ah, yes, fine. Okay. okay, so here what I just okay, you can actually see three two. Uh, it's not a big deal. Maybe you can do like this. So three will come to this side, and then x one corresponding to three, and x two will correspond to two. But if you don't understand this, uh, you can think about this. If I wanted to satisfy this equation, what mm -hmm. should I put here and here so that uh, both the sides will be equal? Okay. Two times three. Two times three, three, three and three, three times two. So that means x one will take value three, and x two will take. Okay, so they, that's how they do. That is a, a, a like simple solving equation. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So can I share my screen? Ah, uh, yeah. I, I'll have to stop. Okay. So, so this is the question. <laughs> is it visible now? Mm, it's coming. Just a minute. Ha, it's visible now. So yeah. here's one question. Now you have oh, entire question paper. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, sir. This is the question. Yes. Find the second order x approximation for the f Ah, uh, that is the same question. It is there, right? Uh, uh, that's what I'm I'm uh, telling you guys that this will not come into the. Uh, so it has come in the previous session. It's session. okay, na. I I have prepared the paper, so I know. <laughs> okay, okay, sir. No issues then. Yes, sir. I saw. Okay, sir. <laughs> then no issues, sir. Your your your, your, your words, sir. Mm -hmm. So I, I I I'm telling you that we'll solve this problem uh, because see uh, why I'm not solving this right now is because this is like at the end of the uh, you know before the quiz so that's why I didn't take that question otherwise if you have would have discussed in week two uh, or maybe in week three also somewhere then I would have taken that uh, problem fine right we'll solve it later and then it will come into yes, maybe final quiz sir but just one now. last question in this one sir okay sir. Okay, the, uh, I'll not solve this question. Uh, we'll discuss it. Fine. Yes, sir. Sure, no issues. So, okay. Uh, okay. What is it? Yeah, it is it. Uh, uh, the curve y equals to x q plus p x plus c passes through the points two minus one and zero zero, and is tangent to the line y equals to minus x at the origin. 
okay find the absolute value of product ab okay there uh, we, so here what you have to find in the, uh, like uh, uh, you have to find that curve right a and b so uh, so a b and c basically right that that means you have to find the equation of that curve and for finding out that what we have given here uh, two in, uh, two uh, kind of information is given to us is this what uh, two points are given and two comma minus one and zero zero yeah and when like and and the information is that curve is passing through the two points what does that mean that means it will satisfy that equation this yes, two points will satisfy yeah. that equation yeah, yeah yeah so you will get two equations there and you can solve it for uh, that two right what mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes you just uh, plug in those values and you will get uh, i think we will get the value of c uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about to see how surely you will get value of B and A also. B and A. Uh, so you will get some equation there, and another information is it is tangent to the line y equals to minus x, minus x at x the y. origin. So what does that mean? Origin is zero zero. zero, zero. Basically, what you have to find the directional derivative at zero zero, right? So this question Not was very tricky. Linear approximation. Linear, linear approximation. approximation. Yeah. You have to tangent. But at what point? Zero zero. Zero, zero zero zero. I think zero, because zero. you didn't get that origin part, maybe you. Uh, so can you please solve it? I'm not. I'm just, you know, uh, maybe it's tricky for okay. me. Only. Fine, fine. Uh, yeah. No, it's a tricky question actually. Means I also then, struggle to find. Uh, but if you draw the graph, you can find it easily. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so uh, can you just uh, please uh, stop sharing the screen? Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Just trust. I think putting values directly also helps, right? Yeah. You can just directly because find that will satisfy that equation, it. right? Uh, uh, you you can actually find that a into b. So okay, it's okay. It will just... The curve okay. is y equals to the a x square plus b x plus c. A x square, huh? Yeah. Or a x square plus b x plus c, and the passes to the points two comma minus one and zero comma zero. Zero comma zero. Yeah. And y and equals minus x, a tangent to the line y equals minus x. Okay. It's tangent to this line. Okay. Okay. So this is kind of uh, what kind of curve this is? Like quadratic. Uh, so it's a quadratic. parabola. It's yeah. Right. Parabola. Parabola. It will go. Uh, Oh, okay, but, but I think it will. So it, it will go to origin, right? Origin. It so, will pass through origin, sir. Right. So it's a tangent to the y equals minus. So if you if you understand it a uh, little bit carefully, you'll just understand that if it is passing through origin, then will this have will any values? C will be zero, right? No, sir. No, sir. It will go. It will go down actually. I think. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I think. Okay, it's not a minima. Yeah. But then how? Okay. Yes, fine, sir. So minus okay. one. Okay, I, okay, fine. And uh, it, it, there is some line which is tangent through this, and the equation of this line is y equals to minus x, right? Something like this. Like it's not the exact depiction, but it's like kind of uh, this is looking like this, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, first thing I'll uh, maybe I'll think about is maybe I'll try to see that it's y equals to c. When I plug in zero zero here, this is one equation I'll get. One one equation I'll get. You right? get zero equal to c, right? Uh, y equals to zero. Yeah, so zero. C equal is to equal to zero, sir. C equals to zero, right? Yes. Sir. Uh, x. Ah, right. So if c is equal to zero, then I think it will pass. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Okay. C yeah. equals to zero. Fine. Yes. So sir. anyway, this uh, equation will boil down yeah. to what? A square plus b x only. Not oh, solvable. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, if I plug in the two and minus one, then what will be minus one equals to four uh, a plus two uh, b. Two b. This one equation. Okay. But I am not able to uh, say anything from this. This is the equation I will get. One one equation I get. So that means I have to you uh, utilize this information, right? The tangent to this curve. Uh, but now the curve is this, right? Okay. So what what should I do now then with that information? The tangent was linear approximation. Of yeah, but but how to how to find that? So what is f here? 
There's a function ax square plus bx plus x square plus bx now, right? Plus b plus c. B. Uh, okay, c is zero now. We are, we know that, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, what is the linear approximation here then? First, find the first derivative. Is x. x minus a. This is the equation we'll we'll have, right? And uh, if dash of x is equals to what? Two ax plus b. Okay, and at zero comma zero zero two ax two ah sorry two ax sorry sorry two ax plus right. So uh, what is the linear approximation here then? C C is equal to zero. The whole zero f x is equal to everything is zero here. Uh, mm -hmm. Zero uh, plus this is b b into x, x minus x. 0 so which is basically yeah. Yeah. B, which is equals to f of x but what yeah. is it what it's is it uh, from phi is equal to minus x so this is minus yeah. x right minus x equals to bx correct so b is equal to minus so b equals to minus 1 so if b is equals to minus 1 then i'll plug in the value of minus 1 here in equation 2 Find the a and I'll find a. So what is it? Uh, uh, okay. A. So it is minus one equals to four a minus two. So four a equals to one. A equals to one by four. And then the product a b equals to what? Minus one by four, which is minus so point. Absolute value of a b. So absolute, absolute value, value will be point two five. Point two five. Is it yeah. correct then? Yes. Yeah. Understand? Yeah, it's now easy. Okay. So we have to use the linear approximation. That's why I feel. I mean, I didn't able to get it. Okay, we yeah, generally the tangent to the tangent is linear approximation. Linear approximation, right? Mm, okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Y equals to the mx plus c one, right? Right. And then you you should not forget to put here that thing. That is also mm. right because that, that is the most crucial point. I think. Uh, because that uh, equation of tangent line is nothing but the equation we obtained from the linear approximation method at 0, 0. Right? Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes, sir. How do you get minus x there, sir? Uh, that's what. So the tangent, so given, given, given it is that uh, the tangent to the line, uh, the it's tangent to this curve at 0, 0 is the equation. So y y minus minus. Oh. And y is basically f of x equals to minus x, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. this, right? This yeah. is the important part. Otherwise, I think otherwise you would have got. Yeah, otherwise it would be very solvable. But yes. Yeah. yes. But this is an interesting question, right? It is a good question. Yes, sir. In this paper, there were three questions which were really interesting. Yeah. You can see yeah. the practical applications of yes. how things are working. So, sir, so last no. minute tips and tricks. <laughs> Nothing is there. Just go, go with the flow. Okay, sir. <laughs> I think all of you know, uh, like whatever the concepts you know, right? You just uh, go and have, uh, like, uh, be confident about what you know. I think all of you know, uh, because I, I'm seeing that when you're, I'm asking you questions, you guys are telling me that, okay, we have to proceed through this way or uh, something, right? So you just have mm -hmm. to apply that the same thing there also. So, so the there is quite, the is quite, you know, uh, easy to. But the mathematical calculation revolves around the question is like 0 0.5 point, and then we do, we do some sort of mistakes there. Uh, no, no, this this time I I don't feel like uh, very uh, like difficult calculations are there. Here and there you might see, but uh, mostly it's not there. Right? Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll tell you. I think you guys have to ask me what is the weightage. So maybe hmm. I'll just give you some approximate weightage. Maybe I'll give you like weightage of week three and four, uh, three and four together, and one and two together. Is it okay? Yes, I'm okay. That's also okay. Okay, just to give me more. Of this. So when will the solution of this mock will release? Uh, I don't know. Like uh, today, I'm not sure about it, so I don't think so. So we solved it. I, I was yes, solved it, but still, I mean, uh, it's better they could release the. Okay, maybe I'll ask them to release if some because today is Saturday, so uh, nobody will be there in the office. So we'll see. Okay, so I'll just so tell them. Have the solution? I mean, if you I mean, personally have solution, if 
I have, but how can I share? I'm not sure because I'm having PDF. Uh, then I don't upload know. Upload to Google Drive and share. And then, then I have to go it's upload it on my Google Drive, right? I will not give you the access. Okay. <laughs> can, can you check? Just a minute. I, I, uh, but first, can you first, put PDF on the? No, I'll ask them to uh, upload. Okay, they will uh, upload. My team will upload. Three, three, three. So okay, so it's like approximately fifty-fifty. Okay, uh, week one and two will be fifty percent, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, three and four will also be a fifty percent. Okay. Question level will be of PYQ. No, no, it's yeah. It you can think about it. PYQ and uh, you, your assignment questions mostly. Okay. Uh, sir, I've just posted a question in the chat. Could you please just give me a hint how to do it? Uh, let P1 be the project matrix onto the line spanned by the vector. P2 be the, uh, the project vector onto the plane permanent span of A. Find determinant of. Okay, this is, I think, somewhere. So uh, here. Mm, sir, you're not odd bill. Yeah, no, no, I'm just What's reading it. So P1 be the projection matrix onto the line. Spanned by this vector, and P two be the projection matrix uh, that projects uh, vectors onto the plane perpendicular to the vector. So there is the there is one property. So when uh, the projection vector is perpendicular to the plane, right? Then its eigenvalues are zero, right? And if uh, any vector is uh, in the plane, then its eigenvalue equals to one. Just take the hint of that, and you try to solve it. Okay, right? so in that case, uh, determinant will come to be one. Yeah, which is the answer. Yeah. Correct. Correct, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So shall we then? Uh, so all the best to all of you for quiz one, and then uh, yeah. we will meet after this quiz one once again for week five. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir.